So this is Lucas again at Old Haunt Recording Studio, and I'm here with my good friend Tiny. Hello. And uh, he's kind of a bass machine around here. And uh, what I've what we're gonna do in this video is we're basically gonna talk about different bass production techniques. Today I brought an Ibanez MDB1. And why did you bring that bass? Uh, it's proven itself to be quite an animal on stage and off stage in, in the studio. It's and it's very user simple. It's got one knob, volume, and you know you never have to worry about knocking on a knob while you're playing hard or anything. Or it's just, and they they tuck the volume knob behind the bridge so it's even simpler. What kind of pickups is it using? Are they Bartolini's or are they uh, something else? No, they're an Ibanez um, open pole design Alnico five um, exposed poles. They're a passive with active electronics. It's really punchy. <clears throat> the Sansamp lets me create a tone and also had bring my own DI. So, you know, things happen, amps fail. I can still have my tone with me wherever I go. So you can just plug it right into the board and everyone hears exactly what I want them to hear, but I might not have it on stage. I am not a big tube fan. I find everything, I don't like warmth in my tone. I like it to be very percussive and aggressive. So I'm more, more picked than anything. And I pretty much just leave everything alone until I get, I have a boost then doing some tapping parts. So, because tapping is not as loud as picking. Now, compared to other genres of music, how do you have to approach bass with metal in comparison to like, let's say like, pop or country or, or anything that, that isn't as, like I guess, aggressive as, as heavy metal? Well, realistically, it's all approached the same. You really got to be tight with the other rhythm section. Uh, metal's more predominant. Like, pop music, well, nowadays it's more electronic. Um, country music, bass is just used to fill it up. But in metal, a lot of the times there's more room for a bass player to have its own voice as well as be as tight with the drummer and then let the guitars do their thing and do their leads and all that, but keep the low end and the rhythm together. What we're going to do now is we're going to have Tiny play uh, a bit of the Malakota song Dominance, and we're going to kind of showcase, you know, how different it can, it can sound, or maybe in this case even how similar it can sound, depending on, I guess, how your playing style is, mm -hmm. uh, with, with a pick in comparison to with your fingers and we'll also mess around a bit with his sans amp and kind of just show different ways you can get that to sound uh when you're recording So I hope this video has provided you with some additional insight on how playing in different parts on the bass can actually affect the tone, as well as how to maintain a consistent tone with different basses and different playing styles with something like the Sans Amp. As always, if there's any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All relevant links will be in the description. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay in the loop. This is Lucas signing off. Thank <laughs> you.